Joining me now is Sky News senior reporter Carolyn Marcus and Radio 2GB host Michael McLaren. Thank you both for your time. Let's start, if we can, please. In this real sense, there's a weakening of Labor support for Israel as uh, Israel gets set to take on, of course, the Hamas terror regime. We've got uh, 100 of the unions, Australian unions, lending their support to back Palestine against Israel. We've got those front benches. We just saw those... Uh, Comments now, Ed Husek and Ali, both in Cabinet in Canberra, saying that Israel could be investigated for alleged war crimes. We had the two Teals earlier in the week joining with the Greens to condemn Israel and also invoke the language of war crimes. And Michael, we're not even two weeks out from that horrific day of tragedy in Israel's south. Uh, Labor appears to be going soft, the hard left that now controls the Labor leadership, including the Prime Minister, I have to say, it looks to me like they are uh, asserting themselves. Yes, I think that's a very good assessment, Peter. And as for that union letter signed by 100 delegates, whoever they were, I mean, if, uh, the union movement have to have a good hard look at themselves here. They've backed the yes case, despite, I would assume, a lot of their members wanting absolutely no union intervention whatsoever, and they've obviously been on the wrong side of that. They're now getting involved in this. I mean, if I was a lowly paid healthcare worker or someone cleaning the, you know, the bathrooms in a hospital as part of the health services union, uh, this is not where I want my hard-earned dues going. I want the union fighting for pay rises for me and better conditions for me, not getting involved in international mm. political stories, which, let's be blunt, won't be solved anytime soon, even at the highest diplomatic levels. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So the unions have to pull their head in as do some of these other MPs. I mean, talking of war crimes and the like, it, it, it's something that is being said very easily, shall we say, from, thank God, peaceful, safe Australia, for the time being anyway. Um, if the shoe was on the other foot and we were the ones, our communities, even these MPs' communities, being attacked uh, by a terrorist organisation and thousands of people losing their lives in the most horrific circumstances in their homes, I don't think, should the Australian government decide to retaliate, they'd be using the same language. 